so in today's class what i have for you in today's class i will discuss about ad hope uh, an australian poet and uh, he has written a well known poem that is australia so aaj hum log jo baat karenge ad hope ko lekar ke baat karenge australia ko lekar ke baat karenge aur kal hum eli swakar aur ad hope dono pe aapka ek test karayenge kyunki aaj hum ad hope ko bhi complete kar lenge so <coughs> you see here jo ad hope hai inka pura naam hai elek darwent hope sabse pehla point hai ki ad hope ka pura naam kya hai elek darwent hope the full form of ad hope is elek darwent hope a l e c d e r w e n t elek darwent hope was born on 21st july 1907 we have to remember he was born on 21st july 1907 at kuma that is another point but we have to remember two significant points ad hope is was an australian poet number one point the full form of ad hope is elek darwent hope we must know the full form because uh, 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 the full form of wh orden has been asked that is western huge orden w i s t a n huge h u g h orden in the same way you also come to know about t s eliot ka pucha ja chuka t s eliot ka thomas easterns eliot in the same way you have to remember about this writer ad hope ad hope Alec Derwent Hope was born on 21st July 1907 at Kuma in the snowy mountains area of southern New South Wales. Where southern New South Wales? It's about the place where his father was a Presbyterian minister. He was educated at home and at schools in Tasmania. एट न्यू साउथ वेल्स इसका मतलब पूरा का पूरा जो उनका एजुकेशन हुआ जो अर्ली चाइल्डहुड हुआ वो कहा पर जो है न्यू साउथ वेल्स में गुजरा हुआ है दैट इज न्यू साउथ वेल्स उसके बाद एज द फैमिली मूव अराउंड टू डिफरेंट पेरिशेज मैट्रिकुलेटिंग टू सिडनी यूनिवर्सिटी एडी होप गॉट मैट्रिकुलेशन फ्रॉम सिडनी यूनिवर्सिटी एडी होप गॉट मैट्रिकुलेशन फ्रॉम सिडनी यूनिवर्सिटी He graduated Bachelor of Arts with majors in English and Philosophy. Uh, when he was doing Bachelor of Arts, he opted two subjects: English and Philosophy. I am not saying that you must know ki what the subject he opted. I am telling you some general information, some general facts. Yeah, that is a biographical study. Ed Hope, an Australian poet. Ed Hope ka pura full form kya hai? Alec Derwent Hope. Ed Hope was born on 21st. July on 21st July 1907 and already i told you when you talk about this man ad hope he just did matriculation from sydney university and during graduation he opted english and philosophy in 1920 and won a scholarship to university college oxford unko jo hai ek scholarship bhi mila tha university college oxford so these are the points which you have to note down a points jo aapko note down karna hai kam se kam ek alag pages pe ek alag jagah pe aapko ye sare points apni notebook pe kar lena hai taki ye rahe ki you know something about ad hope his oxford career however was not a distinguished one he returned to sydney wo sydney dobara aa gaye wapas aa gaye unka wahan ka career bahut acha nahi tha aur ek kab hua in 1932 mein with a disappointing third class degree and trained as a teacher with a disappointing third class degree and trained as a teacher unko jo hai jo degree mili hui thi wo kaun si thi third class degree thi ab aap ye samajhne ki koshish kariye ki ye disappointing to tha lekin aaj ke samay mein if you and i get third class degree there is no value of that 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 mark sheet that there is no value of that uh, piece of paper in our life if we don't get any uh, service or uh, 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 means if we don't get any job the same thing you can also see with whom with mahatma gandhi he also got third division so third division doesn't matter means you the your knowledge all these things matter but sometimes when uh, thing is going to happen on the basis of merit to wo cheez important ho jata lekin ad hope jo third division pass hue the wo wo ek uh, international poet 
भी बनते हैं कुछ ना कुछ टैलेंट होता है वो हमें पहचानना है मैं इसके इनके लाइफ को लेकर आपको ये बताना चाहता हूँ कि यू ऑल आर द स्कॉलर्स आई एम नॉट सिंग दैट यू आर द रिसर्च स्कॉलर आई एम यूजिंग द वर्ड यू ऑल आर द स्कॉलर्स यू हैव टू जस्ट रिकॉग्नाइज योर एबिलिटी यू मस्ट नो अबाउट योर पोटेंसी यू मस्ट नो समथिंग वट यू कैन डू एंड इन विच फील्ड यू कैन डू तो वो चीजें आपको खुद ब खुद एंड वन डे यू विल गेट सक्सेस नेम फेम प्रॉस्पिरिटी ऑल दीज थिंग्स विल कम इन योर लाइफ so disappointing third class degree and trained as a teacher in 1937 hope married penelope robinson ye point to note karne wali cheez hai kaun kaun si point note karne wali cheez hai edi hope was an australian poet born on 21st july 1907 at kuma and most of his childhood ya early days passed around new south wales southern new south wales second important point uh, what you have to remember you have to remember that uh, he married uh, in 1937 penelope robinson ke sath unka marriage hua tha then you find he was appointed lecturer in education at the sydney teachers college in 1937 unhone apna jo karya shuru kiya ek teacher ke roop mein sometimes kabhi kabhar ye pucha bhi jata hai ki uh, the poet started his career how so the poet started his career As a Sydney teachers, uh, uh, sorry, uh, teachers के रूप में. Another point कि later becoming lecturer in English बाद में lecturer भी हुए कब 1938 से 44. During the 1940, hope took part in the Australian Broadcasting Commission Children Session. इसमें भी इनका participation रहा. Australian Broadcasting Commission Children Session. as anthony ink will conducting the literary section of the argonaut moved to the university of melbourne yahan se unka ab ek bright career shuru hoga in 1945 he moved to the university of melbourne this point you have to note down and in 1951 was appointed professor of english at कैनबरा यूनिवर्सिटी कॉलेज कैनबरा यूनिवर्सिटी कॉलेज में वो प्रोफेसर नियुक्त हुए किसके इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट में और जिसको जो है बाद में क्या कहा गया उस यूनिवर्सिटी को लेटर द ऑस्ट्रेलियन नेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी लेटर द ऑस्ट्रेलियन टॉट अंटिल हिज रिटायरमेंट इन 1968 वेयर ही टॉट अंटिल हिज रिटायरमेंट इन नाइनटीन I just want to tell you one significant point. Ki what the point you have to keep in mind? The point which you have to keep in your mind is here. That is very significant. That is important to note down. That he moved to the University of Melbourne in 1945. 1945 में वो University of Melbourne में जाते हैं. 1951 इस भी में वो क्या होते हैं? उनको जो है Professor of English एट कैनबरा यूनिवर्सिटी कॉलेज में मिलता है और वहां पे वो उन्नीस तक रहते हैं एंड दैट इज व्हाट दैट इज द ऑस्ट्रेलियन नेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी उसको बाद में पुकारा गया या जाना गया दिस इज द पॉइंट विच यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर ऑल दो ही हैज बीन राइटिंग फॉर मेनी इयर्स हो डिड नॉट पब्लिश एनी ऑफ हिस्स पोयम्स अंटिल द नाइनटीन थर्टी हिज फर्स्ट कलेक्शन द वैंड्रिंग आईलैंड दिस इज अ वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट पॉइंट उनका पहला जो कलेक्शन पोयम का था द वैंड्रिंग आईलैंड that is what that is the the winding island did not appear until 1955 by which he had built a reputation as a poet through publications in various periodicals it was praised for hope's skillful use of traditional words of forms and critique of contemporary values and received the grace leven poetry prize and he got what he got the grace Eleven poetry prize. This is another important point. अगर ये चीज पूछा जाता है कि उनका पहला poetic collection कौन सा था? The Wandering Island. W A N D E R I N G. The Wandering Island. उनका पहला poetic collection था. दूसरा चीज, उनको जो है एक prize मिलता है और उस prize का क्या नाम रहा है? Grace Eleven Poetry Prize. His second collection poems 1960. उनका जो second collection था उसका नाम है poems 1960 was published in London 
underscoring the fact that for many years Pope was the best known Australian poet internationally appearing in many anthologies and receiving in 1965 the arts council of great britain award aur 1965 mein unko dusra award milta hai jiska kya naam tha the arts council of great britain poetry award in 1968 the levinson prize for poetry chicago and in 1969 the ingram merrill award for literature so these were the awards which he got i am not saying ki that you don't have to be pay your attention i want to draw your attention uh, uh, about these award the awards which was received by this man so what you have to remember unke work ke bare mein remember karna hai aur unke aapko unka award ke bare mein i just want to know about uh, which i want to ask some questions aur aap sare log answer de sakte hain koi usme zaruri nahi hai you can just uh on your mic and just give me answer what is the full form of ad hope yeah ali darwent hope elek darwent hope i know you know it but i just want to recall i just want to revise that is alec darwent hope okay ad hope was born in which year ad hope was born 1907 what is the name of the place yeah what was the name of that place kuma 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 he was born at kuma and he kuma. passed his yeah kuma he passed his early childhood where he passed his early childhood where southern new wales Yeah, Southern New Wales. Southern New Wales. He passed his early childhood Southern New Wales. Uh, just I want to know he matriculated from which university? He matriculated from which university? Sydney University. Sydney University. And I want to know he in nineteen uh, uh, when he was doing graduation, which two subjects he opted? to do ba philosophy and english philosophy and english theek hai okay okay philosophy and english and he also won a scholarship to which university university college oxford university college oxford that's good that's good he married in 1937 who penlo robinson Penelope Robinson. He married in 1937. Penelope Robinson. That's another significant point. Now you see what you see what he he was appointed lecturer in education at which college in 1937? Sydney Teachers College. Sydney Teachers College in 1937. These were some. Ah, uh, important information. Some basic questions which I discussed with you and I also. Uh, asked uh, yeah recall your memory now in this page what do you see here uh, he was uh, uh, you find ki australian broadcasting commission children session that is another thing i just want to know what i just want to know he moved to the university of melbourne which year he moved to 19, the university yeah, of 1945 1945 1945 and which year he was appointed professor of english at canberra university college 1951 1951 canberra university college is also known as australian, australian national university australian national university good he taught there till his retire until his retirement what was the last year Nineteen sixty-eight. Good. Second point I want to tell you: Ki, what is the name of his first poetic collection? The Wandering Islands. The Wandering Island. The Wandering Island that the appeared Island. in nineteen fifty-five. And second important collection: the name of his second important poetic collection. Poem. 
poems. Poems 1960. Poems 1960. Okay, that's good. Uh, I just want to know about some awards, especially in 1965, which award he got. Yeah, he was awarded with the prize in 1965. Arts Council of Great Britain Poetry. Arts Poetry. Council of Great Britain Poetry. And in 1968, Levinson Prize for Poetry. Levinson Prize for Poetry, Chicago. Levinson Prize for Poetry, Chicago. And in 1969, in Graham Merrill Award for Literature, New York. In New York. In New York. My objective is not to tell ki that you have to remember these awards, but I just want to say that you must know about these awards and chronologically you must know which year he got the Arts of Council of Great Britain, which year he got Levinson Prize for Poetry Chicago, and which year he got in Graham Mary Award for Literature. These things you have to remember. You have to remember his poetic collection, The Wandering Islands in 1955, Poems 1960, appointed what professor of English at, at Canberra University College, uh, uh, and there he served until his retirement in 1968. These points you have to remember. Now you see this passage here, a small volume of selected poems, A.D. Hope, A.D. Hope ka, is a small <laughs> volume of selected poems ad hope in angus and robertson's australian poet series was soon followed by collected poems 1930 1965 thereafter collection of new poems appeared at regular intervals interposed by new edition of selected poems in 1972 1986 and 1992 the later sharing the Australian Capital Territory Book of the Year Award, 1983, a late picking poems, 1965-1978, received the Age Book of the Year Award, Imaginative Writing Prize for 1976, the satiric note so strong in much of Hope's earlier work and seen especially in his mock heroic Turnsad Minor. That is the, in his mock heroic, this is another important work which you have to remember. In his mock heroic Turnsad Minor, a contemporary version of English 18th century poet Alexander Pope's The Downset. Jo Alexander Pope ka jo poem The Downset tha, uska jo hai ek tarah se aap kaise sakte hain ki that mark heroic Downset minor ki roop mein wo aata hai, and that was a contemporary version. Contemporary version tha. So ye chiz jhan mein rakhna hai ki unka jo work hai, that is the, the means here heroic Downset minor. It came in 1970. And you find that it's the contemporary version of English 18th century poet Alexander Pope's The Dunciad. He is less evident in his late poem. His interest in mythology is seen as embodying the great commonplaces of human life remained until the end and is apparent in the title of his final collection, Orpheus. So this is another important work, Orpheus. O-R-P-H-U-S. I just want to know one point, which work of, which work of uh, A.D. Hope you can say as the contemporary version of English 18th century poet Alexander Pope's The Dunciad. Which work of A.D. Hope? एडी होप का वो कौन सा वर्क है जो एक तरह से कहा जा सकता है कि इट्स द कंटेम्पररी वर्जन ऑफ 18th सेंचुरी इंग्लिश पोएट अलेक्जेंडर पोप्स द डंसियार्ड डंसियार्ड माइनर डंसियार्ड माइनर 1970 ओके नाउ यू फाइंड हियर व्हाट यू फाइंड हियर कि उनका जो एक द ग्रेट Common places of human life remained until the end as apparent in the title of his final collection. Which was his final collection? Yeah, in title. His final collection was entitled Orpheus, O R P H E U S. In addition to his many volumes of poetry, Hope was a widely published critic, reviewer, and editor. 
द केव एंड द स्प्रिंग एसेज ऑन पोइट्री वन बोथ द 1965 ब्रिटानिका ऑस्ट्रेलिया लिटरेरी अवार्ड एंड वोल्स वोक्स वागेन अवार्ड फॉर 1990 फॉर 1966 आफ्टर सम इयर्स इन अ कैनबरा नर्सिंग होप होप डाइड ऑन 13th जुलाई 2000 13th जुलाई 2000 को उनकी मौत हुई है 1907 ईस्वी को उनका जन्म हुआ था इट मींस दैट कि 93 इयर्स अराउंड 93 इयर्स इन 91 ही हैड बीन मेड अ कंपेनियन ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया उनको 98 में कंपेनियन ऑफ ऑर्डर ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया नियुक्त किया जाता है फॉर सर्विसेज टू लिटरेचर लिटरेचर की सर्विस के लिए आई जस्ट वांट टू टेल यू हियर कि व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट दीस वर्क्स आर फेयर्स या व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट द केव एंड द स्प्रिंग एसेज ऑन पोइट्री दीस आर द थिंग्स व्हिच यू सी and some other works you find here junka raha hai the wandering islands 1955 poems 1960 ad hope ka a b jo tha 1963 collected poems hai new poems hai dance at minor 1970 a late picking poems 1975 a book of answers 1978 the drifting continent and other poems here you see Uh, all these things you feel the age of reason 1984 and the last is rps so you remember rps also and he died in 2000 these points you have to remember so we have taken what we have taken a series of the poet poetess novelist dramatist who come yeah who falls in the category of new literature in english today i am discussing with you the second poet already i had gone with elis waka and her poem remember me and her novel the color purple if you remember and i also told you ki what do you mean new literature in english what the subject matter what the theme do you find so if i talk about elis waka you must remember what ki an australian poet born in 1907 died in 2000 famous as a poet and some other contributions of english and his contribution is worldwide especially in the field of humanities in the field of literature but here today uh, except it what i have to take i will discuss with you his well poem that is australia because this poem is uh, prescribed in so many uh, colleges or universities so it's not possible to discuss all the works of a writer it's not possible but it's possible to discuss some important poems in a detailed way so today what i have picked up for you i have picked up for you a beautiful poem named australia composed by whom composed by ad hope and you find here critical analysis ad hope was an australian poet and essayist known for his satirical slant he was also a critic teacher and an academic he was referred to in an american journal as the 20th century's greatest 18th century poet 20वीं शताब्दी के ऐसे पोएट जो 18वीं शताब्दी के पैटर्न पर लिखते हैं 20th century's greatest 18th century poet so what i have taken for you i have taken for you a poem written by this man that is australia what do you see in this poem in the poem australia ad hope questions the idea that australia is civilized again i would like to tell you ki here ad hope cries here ad hope sobs here ad hope laments what seeing the plight situation of australia once australia was a beautiful land once australia once australia had beautiful land once australia had greenery once australia had its own history once australia had its own culture once once australia had its own identity but these things were devastated these things were you can say eradicated by colonizer and who were the colonizer the european imperialist nation who settled down there and made uh, 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 made their colony in australia so what they did they eradicated so usi cheez ko dekh kar ke unhone pura australia ka uh, not only uh, 
भूगोल उसका इतिहास उसका कल्चर उसका पास्ट उसका प्रेजेंट उसका फ्यूचर बताया है एक तरह से उनको अपने वतन की स्थिति पर बहुत दुख होता है और वो लिखते हैं क्या लिखते हैं कि इन द पोएम ऑस्ट्रेलिया आईडी होप क्वेश्चन द आइडिया दैट ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज सिविलाइज क्या रियली में ऑस्ट्रेलिया सब एक वतन है सब एक कंट्री है दिस इज द क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज वॉट इट्स अ बेसिक पॉइंट ऑफ पोस्ट कोलोनियल इरा आर यू सिविलाइज आर यू सोफिस्टिकेटेड पर्सन मीन्स आर यू अटेड मैन वुमन तो सोफिस्टिकेशन कल्चर सिविलाइजेशन पॉलिश मैन पॉलिश वुमेन दीज आर द क्वेश्चन विच यू सी हिया तो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेल यू की एडी होप क्वेश्चन द आइडिया दैट ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज सिविलाइज इन द फर्स्ट फाइव स्टैंडा द पोएट टॉक अबाउट ऑस्ट्रेलिया शुरू के पांच स्टैंडा में पोएट केवल किसके बारे में बात करता ऑस्ट्रेलिया के बारे में He describes how it is both a new and old country, geologically old but politically new. It's a very important point. वह बताते हैं कि जो Australia है, वह new है और वह old भी है. Old उसका past show करता है, new इसका present बताता है. And how Australia is old, how Australia is new, geologically it's old but politically Australia is new because. Australia was the colony of the British Empire. It got freedom, and now you find it how now you see that he politically it's a newborn country, and how it is both a European colony. It's a very important point. Already I discussed with you. So Australia was the colony of the European imperialist empire, and an independent but a parasitical country. यह इंडिपेंडेंस तो हो चुका ऑस्ट्रेलिया गॉट इंडिपेंडेंस ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज नाउ एन इंडिपेंडेंट नेशन बट इट इज व्हाट इट्स अ पैरासिटिकल कंट्री इवन टुडे इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन हुम इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन यूरोपियन इंपीरियलिस्ट नेशन इट इमिटेट्स या यू कैन सी सो मेनी थिंग्स यू कैन सी दे द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द कल्चर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द सिविलाइजेशन Things you can just see there. That is a very important point. Wow. ये सब चीजें रही हैं. Now I just want to say, I just want to tell you, but a parasitical country. The next two stanzas talk about the yeah, yeah talks about the wildness of Australia. कह रहे हैं कि जो next two stanza है, वह बताता है how Australia had greenery, how Australia had forest. The wilder, the yeah, the wilderness of Australia. The poet describes Australia as being a nation of trees. It's a very significant point. Australia ka ye chiz usko kitna zada how much he loves his countries, especially trees, mountains, rivers, and how much the poet is conscious to protect her natural ob uh, uh, to uh, to protect its natural objects. Usko jo hai. Aur kya kehta hai ki? The poet describes Australia as being, and what being? Na nation of trees, drab green and desolate grey. It's a very significant point. Nation of trees. Once Australia was a nation, or a nation, how was it? Hara bhara tha. Its me greenery thi, or desolate grey ab ho chuka hai. The darkens her hills. The darkens her hills. वहां पे भी पहाड़ियां भी थी इसी इज ऑस्ट्रेलिया एज अ कंट्री दैट इज ब्लीक एंड ऑलमोस्ट कलरलेस लेकिन अब वो किस पे तब्दील हो चुका है अब वो कंट्री जो है ब्लीक है और कैसे है कलरलेस है और कैसे है डल है इट्स द प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन और जब ऑस्ट्रेलिया के पास ट्रीज था ग्रीनरी थी तो यह उसका क्या था पास्ट सिचुएशन था so you can just see here that the poet compares australia ka apna wajood tha australia ka apna identity thi australia ka apna culture tha australia ek ek keval geographical boundary ka naam nahi tha it has its own history it has its own culture it has its own religious belief it has its own feeling it has its own religious sentiment and australia was recognized the, the people could know about australia because of its greenery because of its trees because of its mountains because of its myth because of its stories because of its 
national heroes but when australia was colonized it turned into how it turned into a colorless and dull country it's a very funny you find here what you find the coming of the colonizer and how colonizer just snatched the beauty of australia and australia that was an independent nation australia that was a free nation australia that has its own culture its own beauty how it lost its color and turned into a colorless nation or dull country that is the point this very much resembles the field uniform of modern wars aur wah uski tulna kisse karte hain the poet compares the land of australia जैसे किसी युद्ध के मैदान में बहुत सारे सैनिक यूनिफॉर्म में गए हुए हैं और उसको देखा जाए वहां एक डर का वातावरण हो वैसी ही कंपेयर्स द लैंड ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया विद होम विद सोल्जर्स फॉर्म एंड just as they are ready for war yes yeah, something war is going on just you can just see how uh, 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 you can say ukraine lost its beauty how uh, 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 russia and ukraine just fought against each other russian soldiers were kidnapped there and the citizens of ukraine were brutally murdered yeah be headed so what i want to say ki war is not the solution of any problem ukraine is a small uh, small country in comparison of russia but facing the challenges not uh, uh, not left the field but you find that ki what you got what i got what the people of that nation got they lost their sovereignty they lost their identity something or and russia is trying to snatch the power to snatch the sovereignty to snatch the identity of ukraine and uh, j- just want to make ukraine uh, you can say just like uh, the game of cat and rat uh, uh, cat and rat cat and rat like game uh, so what i want to say the identity of someone is important the culture of someone is important uh, the uh, the the civilization of someone is important uh, their history is important their religious sentiments are important their myths are important they, the people love their nation they don't want to lose the, yeah they don't want to uh, uh, any invader any attacker any outsider come and snatch our identity no not and the people are not ready uh, these things so the same thing you see there ki australia jo ek beautiful land tha jo ek green land tha jo ek green nation ka Similar to where there were mountains, where there were trees, where there were rivers. Now it's colorless and it's a dull and it's a bleak and it has lost its greenery. And that thing has been compared with a battlefield where there are only soldiers with a weapon, with AK-47 in uniform, ready to devastate, ready to eradicate, ready to destroy. Yeah, you can use any words, whatever you would like to. Something जो कि युद्ध के मैदान में या युद्ध से होता है, where everything is in a state of grey and green. यानि कि सब कुछ जो है क्या हो चुका है grey और green जो था इस तरह last अब सब कुछ उसका केवल कुछ नहीं है. The poet likes the country to a uh, yeah. The poet likes uh, the country to a sphinx. The sphinx was a figure from Egyptian myth. Yeah, Egyptian myth का ये है. which possesses the body of a lion just as you can say what just as you can say hiran kashyap in uh, indian myth me to jo sphinx jo hai it is what is it's it's uh, just like what it's uh, it has the body of lion and the head of a man the body of a lion the incarnation ek aisa avatar jisme uske paas kya hai wahan ka jo ek statue hai jo ek image hai us स्टेच्यू का लायंस बॉडी एंड मैंस हेड मैंस का जो हेड है वो किसका प्रतीक है वो जो है मैन इज अरेशनल क्रिएचर उसकी चालाकी का प्रतीक है और लायन जो होता है शक्तिशाली तो शरीर उस, उसको लायन का मिला है और हेड मैन का मिला ये कॉम्बिनेशन है जो है एंड वी सी दिस थिंग आल्सो वेयर वी सी दिस सच टाइप ऑफ इमेज इन द सेकेंड कमिंग इफ यू रिमेम्बर अ पोएम कम्पोज बाई डब्ल्यू बी एट्स 
so you find here what you find here the body of lion and head of a man this comparison could be directly related to the author's vision of australia the poet suggests that australia's dream of intelligence and power have now been worn away a very significant point once ka once ek aisa tha ki jo australia ka apna intelligence tha uska apna power tha ये सब बात क्या हो चुका वर्न अवे सब उससे छीन लिया गया उसका अपना कुछ नहीं है वी सजे दैट ऑस्ट्रेलिया यूज टू बी अ बेटर दैट इट इज नाउ आज की तुलना में ऑस्ट्रेलिया ज्यादा पहले अच्छा मुल्क था बेहतर मुल्क था जिसको अपनी बौद्धिकता पर गर्व था अपनी संपदा पर गर्व था अपनी शक्ति पर गर्व था लेकिन ये सब कुछ छीन लिया गया है और आज की तुलना में ऑस्ट्रेलिया आज के समय में कोई बेहतर नेशन नहीं है ही बिलीव दैट ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज अ कंट्री दैट इज old why be kata it's a country that is old people may call australia a young country but they lie a very satirical statement here is the word a very important line the people may call australia a young country but they lie log australia ko young country keh sakte hain lekin ve jhoot bolte hain kyu young country keh sakte hain wo ye keh sakte hain australia to abhi swatantra hua hai isliye wo young country hai no आज वो स्वतंत्र हुआ है लेकिन उसका वजूद कई हजार सालों का है जैसे हम सारे लोग कहते हैं हमारी सभ्यता हमारी संस्कृति भारतवर्ष हमारा वजूद पांच हजार सालों का इतिहास हमने समेटा हुआ है एज वी फील प्राइड बीइंग एन इंडियन इन द सेम वे दे आल्सो फील प्राइड कि हमारा इतिहास है हमारा कल्चर है हमारा कंट्री कोई यंग कंट्री नहीं इफ द पीपल से दैट ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज अ यंग कंट्री द पीपल टिल अल्लाई लाइ Australia to him is the last of lions, the impetuous, a woman beyond her change of life, a breast still tender, but within the womb is dry. A very important point. If the people say that, oh, oh, Tulla Kata, Australia to him is Australia. उनकी नजर में क्या है? Last of lions है. या कैसी lion है जो खो चुकी है, जिसका अपना कोई वजूद नहीं, जो खाली पड़ा हुआ है. A woman उसकी तुलना उस औरत से की जा सकती है. Beyond her change of life. जिसकी जो है जिसकी जिसकी जीवन में कोई परिवर्तन नहीं आया अ वुमन बियॉन्ड हर चेंज ऑफ लाइफ अ ब्रेस्ट स्टिल टेंडर बट विद इन द ओम जिसका ब्रेस्ट टेंडर बट द ओम इज ड्राई ऑस्ट्रेलिया में बी कंसीडर एज अ यंग बाय द वर्ल्ड स्टैंडर्ड बट इट इज इम्पिटी विद इन कह रहे हैं कि ऑस्ट्रेलिया एक तरह से दुनिया की नजर में यंग नेशन हो सकता है लेकिन उसमें बहुत कुछ खाली है उसको लूटा गया बर्बाद किया गया छीना गया इट हैज ओनली एक्सटर्नल ब्यूटी बट नो इनर ब्यूटी ये एक पेन है पोयट का ये एक पेन है जो आपको ध्यान में रखना पोयट की नजर में ऑस्ट्रेलिया की जो देखने में केवल उसमें वाह सुंदरता लेकिन उसकी आंतरिक सुंदरता को खत्म कर दिया गया उसकी आंतरिक सुंदरता वहां का हिस्ट्री वहां का ट्रीज वहां का माउंटेन वहां का नेचुरल ब्यूटी वहां का आईलैंड वहां का नेशनल हीरोज मिथ कल्चर सो मेनी थिंग जिस पर एक राष्ट्र को गर्व होता है ऑस्ट्रेलिया टू हिम इज डिवाइड ऑफ कल्चर उसका कल्चर खत्म किया गया इज विदाउट सॉन्ग्स आर्किटेक्चर एंड हिस्ट्री वर्तमान में ऐसा लगता है उसका कोई सॉन्ग्स नहीं है उसका कोई आर्किटेक्चर नहीं उसका कोई हिस्ट्री नहीं है He sees Australia as being a country that has neither historical background nor culture. Poet को ऐसा लगता है कि Australia का ना कोई historical background है और ना ही कोई culture है. He believes that it has the capabilities to do so. However, the ideas are drawn among islands. That वे भी विश्वास करता है कि बहुत सारी योग्यताएं थी, बहुत सारी चीजें थी जिसमें बहुत कुछ किया जा सकता है. लेकिन इस सारी की सारी चीजें कहाँ हो गईं उस island में? उसी आइलैंड के रेत में दफन हो गई है ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज पोर्ट्रेट एज अ कंट्री दैट इज नथिंग एट ऑल और ऑस्ट्रेलिया को ऐसा पोर्ट्रेट किया गया जैसे एक ऐसा वतन हो जिसके पास कुछ ना हो वेर देर आर मोनोटोनस ट्राइब फ्रॉम फ्रॉम कायरा टू पर्थ कह रहे कह रहे कि जहां पर केवल जो है ट्राइब लोग रहते हैं जनजातियां रहती हैं इन दोनों शहरों में फ्रॉम कायरा टू पर्थ कायरा और से लेकर पर्थ तक केवल और केवल जो है मोनोटोनस ट्राइब रहते दे डोंट हैव एनी कल्चर दे डोंट हैव एनी हिस्ट्री दे डोंट हैव साइंटिफिक रीजन दे डोंट हैव द एबीसीडी ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन दीज थिंग 
the five main cities are compared five teeming sources the people who come to live in australia do not boast of living but rather merely surviving jo log bhi australia mein reh rahe hain unko apne upar garv nahi hai aisa lagta hai jaise ve yahan pe keval survive kar rahe hain kyunki jis rashtra ka identity uska culture uski cheeze chheen li jayengi to unko kuch bhi milne wala nahi hai he believes that that the people who move here are rather unwelcome he believes that people who move here are rather unwelcome and they are second hand europeans he believes that ki koi bhi aadmi jo yahan move karta hai who move here jo yahan aata hai unka koi welcome nahi kiya jata aur unko kya samjha jata second hand europeans second class citizen that grow rapidly on these alien show jo yahan par aake pale badhe he sees these people as people who drain australia to dekhte yahi log hai jinhone australia ko kya kiya khatam kar diya for him it is a vast parasitic robber state aisa lagta hai australia ek aisa ek aisa state hai jisko robber kiya gaya jisko looted gaya jisko robbing ki gayi which has lost its original vitality jisne apni original vitality ko kho diya apni importance ko kho diya hai the last two stanzas are jo last ke two stanzas are refer to modern civilization of australia australia ke modern civilization ko refer karte hain for hope uh, ad hope ke liye the civilization of australia is nothing australia ki sabhyata kuch bhi nahi hai the false imitation of culture apps aur isme aisa lagta hai ki bahut sari sabhyataon ko keval nakal ki gayi hai which is mistaken as modern civilization jisko hum galti se kya kehte hain modern civilization so you come to know here ki the poet tells about australia its culture the poet has something uska gam hai uska dukh hai ki jis vatan mein hum rehte hain jis tarah se usko hum dekh rahe le rahe us us tarah se hamara vatan nahi reh gaya hai ya kaise use barbaad kiya gaya kaise use cheena gaya all these things you find so wahi same theme same cheeze colonizer colonized settler devastation of culture robbing uh, uh decaying uh, you can say looting of these things so these things we see these things we find so yah tak tha jo hai maine i have done this and i hope that you have enjoyed uh, uh, i would like to conclude here uh, just conclude the session if you have any issue or any problem you can share in the chat so oh, thank you uh